Greetings. We find ourselves here now in Corpus Christi Catholic Church. And as I mentioned in my Sunday homily on the solemnity of Corpus Christi, the churches of the Diocese of Sioux City will return to the celebration of public masses on the weekend of June 27 and 28. And in doing so, this does not mean that the coronavirus is no longer a concern, but the combination of social distancing, good hand hygiene, and the use of face masks have served to reduce the rate of infection. Now this Tuesday and Thursday, June 16 and 18, Corpus Christi Church will be open for private prayer from 4 to 6 p.m. And this will continue for the foreseeable future. The number of pews in the church is limited, as many have been taped off to assist you to maintain social distancing, as you see demonstrated here. The two pews that are taped off represent six feet of distance between the open pews. So the church, of course, is going to be much more limited in terms of space. But please be respectful of these restrictions. As volunteers on the prayer days will sanitize the pew once it has been used. And again, on those prayer days, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you might consider limiting your prayer visit to 15 minutes so to as allow another parishioner an opportunity to visit while respecting the limited capacity of the church. Now, Masses for Sunday Obligation will begin on June 27 and 28. They will be held here at Corpus Christi Church only. We will not be using the auditorium at St. Edmund. So the Mass times for the weekend are Saturday evening at 4.15, Sunday morning at 7.30 and 9.30, then again at noon and 7.30 p.m. The noon Mass will include a reading in Spanish and our hope is that parishioners who have traditionally performed various ministries at the 10.30 Mass might consider assisting in these ministries at the noon Mass for the time being. Now again, all Masses will continue to be live streamed on Facebook so that parishioners who are unable to be accommodated here in the church will be able to view the Mass in the Corpus Christi Center and then receive Holy Communion. Parishioners who are at high risk categories or who are simply not ready to return to public mass at this time, well, again, the dispensation from the Sunday obligation remains in effect for all through the end of this calendar year. Now, the church and the center will be opened 30 minutes prior to the mass time. These locations will be sanitized following each service. And the hand sanitizer, as is illustrated here, well, that will be available at the entrances of the church as well as at the center. We're asking that you please wear a face mask when coming to Mass or for prayer. And maintain social distancing when coming and going as well as in the communion line. Holy Communion will be distributed at the end of Mass so as to limit the movement of people within the confined space of the church or the center. The parish will employ a process to, if you will, reserve a place at a particular mass. This tool, known as Sign Up Genius, will be explained in a subsequent video. And there will be the opportunity for those without internet access to reserve a place by calling the parish office. The purpose of this is to provide as best we can for the optimal number of spaces for any given mass. Hopefully, this will reduce frustration for all concerned. Because again, as you can see, if this pew is open, a family of eight that could all fit in this pew. But if it's just one or two persons, individuals, well, that really restricts the number even further. Now, hymnals and worship aids, well, they will not be available for use. But you certainly are welcome to bring your own prayer book or for many, just download the mass parts and things on your electronic tablet. And you're welcome to follow the readings and the parts of the mass in that method. Now again, given this restriction, music will be limited to the accompanist and the cantor, very similar to what we are, well, doing now for our live stream masses. Again, a video is being produced to give further instructions on just how to reserve a place for mass, as well as 
be that in the center or in the church. And also some, uh, we'll address some of the procedures that I've mentioned in this announcement. The parish is working with the RCIA and First Holy Communion Catechist now to schedule those sacramental celebrations that were canceled as a result of COVID-19. This information should be available to you by Friday of June 19. Along with the return to public mass, the Corpus Christi Center will be accessible again for use. It will be governed by those guidelines as determined by the, public state, the state public health officials. Funeral masses and weddings, well, they will be open to public subject to the same restrictions as utilized in our return to Sunday Mass. Weekday Masses will continue to be live streamed each morning. And during the week of July 6th, the weekday Mass will be celebrated publicly on two days each week. And again, again, assuming that there is no abnormal, the parish schedule should return to a greater normalcy beginning July 20th. For the Sacrament of Reconciliation, ability to socially distance in the small confessional at Corpus Christi Church, it will not be in use. For the time being, we are asking that you continue to schedule an appointment with Father Feller or me, and we understand that we will try to make that um, a sacrament available as best we can in providing for anonymity in the days ahead. Again, thank you for listening to this video, and we look forward to seeing you again at Sunday Mass.